Good kitten internet. Let's go ahead and get back to Might Magic. What the? That's a weird type of interference. Here. Can you hear it? Oh. Low battery. Uh, you can see it flickering along with the noise. Huh. I've never had that happen before. Turned off, turned on, and it works. These are my older headphones, by the way. Hence the gaff tape and Velcro. Gaff tape and Velcro. Hmm. I unfortunately don't have another AAA battery charge, so I'll just go without the noise cancellation. Let's go ahead and, as mentioned, let's get right to it. So, we were in New Serpical, and I feel like I need to explain slightly differently. So, the first one of the Might Magic 6 episodes went up. Uh, the only people, the only person who's watched it is Creator, which... Hi, beloved. Um, speaking of, need to make sure that is there. There we go. So, it's actually Thursday night. Um, anyway, so, what I want to do... First off, time, it is 10, 12 a.m. on Tuesday, January 2nd. So, um, who do I have around? Navigator, Cooper, Potter, Guide, Clark, Cook, Master Healer, Scholar. I already have a Scholar. Follower of Ba, which is useless. Cartographer, Rustler, Bard, Armor, Mystic. These two I already checked, right? Cooper, Navigator. Okay. So, um, so I need to explain a little bit more about the plot of the game because I kind of skipped over that because I'm so. It's a me, a Mario. I am so used to people knowing what I'm talking about when it comes to this game. And, well, not everybody's going to. Oh, yeah, speaking of, how long do I have left? Ooh, kitty. Hour and tw All right, one day, 20 hours. Hold on a moment. I need to deal with boo, boo kitty. You can play if you want. I just don't need to make fun of the noise, okay? Ah, silly kitty. Hopefully that noise doesn't come up too much in the recording. So anyway, um, the main plot of the game, I explained a little bit before that um, Roland Iron Fist has been kidnapped, and you need to go rescue him, apparently. And to do this, you have several sections of plot. And to be quite honest, I haven't done a single one of them. Not only have I not done a single one of them, I haven't started any of them, so that's why I haven't really explained much of the plot so far, is because none of it has come up. So, this is the next dungeon that we're going to do. This is the Abandoned Temple of Ba. It's our first Ba temple, and then the easiest one. Strange squealing echoes from the front doors. At one time, a Temple of Ba, a foul curse caused the old inhabitants to move away. You can see the, like, the little eyes up there. and. I like the little animations that they do. So we've got bats. Bats cause disease. Disease is bad. Right. This would be handy if I actually had bows on everybody. Ah, so. <laughs> We've got some paintings. This is totally just clip art, basically. There's no significance behind those paintings. Aha. Regular ordinary leather belt. Well, it could be sold. 
empty barrel, and an empty barrel. Bats can drop rings just like mice. Vampire bats can actually be scary. So, let's... Yeah, see, they actually have a lot more hit points than their regular baddie brethren. Just as it looked like it from the length of the hit point bar. And yes, you there is actually a way to get the num numeric hit points, but it requires an item that's later on in the game. It's a hidden item, actually. I must have missed... Yep, there we go. So, there are three types of enemies in here, just like there is in every one of these dungeons. Okay, those are doors that will open, but I don't want to open them yet until I have cleared out the area around it, because I don't want to get hit by these things. These are fairly nasty. So we are going to go into turn-based mode, then open it up, and find snacks! Actually, these are more like danger noodles than snacks. But I am high enough level where things die quickly. As long as they're not king cobras, which there are definitely king cobras in here. Yeah, you notice that they're dropping from the ceiling? Yeah, tell me that's not creepy. Okay. So we've got a bucket. The bucket has an herb in it. There's a chest. This is the Candelabra. So the quest from the Follower of Ba at the start of the game. This is actually the quest item for it. It's a really simple one. I'm still taking it, but I'm not going to return it yet. I haven't decided whether I want to return it. By the way, the um, wording that the character has is saying like nice and aha and so on it actually is based off of the value of the item but it's not the numeric value of the item it's something to do with level versus item level i it's hard to explain but long story short i have too many things in my inventory um i am actually full already Just gonna ditch the broken items Can't help you. because they're not gonna be any of any use value wise. Um, what was I saying? So I'm not sure if I'm going to return that right now or if I'm going to return it later. So barrels, different colors of barrels increase different stats. Red, for instance, increases might. So plus one might permanently. Um, obviously with 312 might, there's not really much of a difference, but Heard base mites only 46, so that's a little different. Regular halberd. Large bag with looks like a crappy hammer. Not much else. Nope. There's nothing else here. So let's go to the other side where I bet you there's more snacks. Just saying. Hey, look. I was right. There are more cobras. These are all snacks, not danger noodles. So I'm actually going to... Leave turn-based mode, re-enter, and basically go into melee because I don't want to waste any more magic on these guys. I'm in yellow, so there's probably another grouping. Yep. There we go. Ah, the benefits of actually having too many hit points. Also, I need to cast Torchlight so we can actually see. Yay, now we can see what's going on. Hooray. Very stylish doors in this game. They don't really mean anything, though, so I'm kind of confused. And good adventurers go left, so let's go right, because I'm a terrible adventurer. Spiders are the last one. So this is basically the Dungeon of Disease. Fine ring, money. That's it. Behind this door, more spideys. Also, whoever made the spider 
has no idea what in the world spiders actually sound like. I'm just saying. They kind of sound like you're, I don't know, hitting a plunger. <sighs> Whatever. So let's walk down a bit. So I see that there's enemies coming my way. More vampire bats and so on. Do you actually have a... Well, that's right, you have crappy attack, but that's okay. You can cast Blessed on the Paladin, because that's what I want... Or on the Knight, because that's what I want you to do. Okay. Uh. And I am poisoned? Diseased. I don't know if I have Cure Disease. Do I have Cure Disease? No, I have Cure Weakness. So, what Disease does is it prevents you from healing properly. There's also some stat differences. However, because of how stupid high my stat bonuses are, they really don't make a difference. So I'm not too concerned. Let's go further down. I can always heal Disease in the Temple. It's not that hard to heal. Well, I didn't think regular bats diseased, but I was apparently wrong. More bats. See, I'm even in condition green. That's how large this dungeon is. So you can see parts of the dungeon. Are you serious? some reason the map movement isn't working and I don't know why. Anyway, not important. What is important is killing more of these things. And you'll notice that there's a trap going off. That is a sparks trap. Ugh. One problem with this dungeon is that it's too wide open. It's really easy for me to get flanked and I don't like getting flanked. Also, the spiders easily sneak up on you because they're really hard to see. That's a huge spider! And looks like Torchlight expired. Go ahead and recast. So, a mistake that I noticed I made earlier is that I gave Inferno to my character that I don't intend on actually having significant fire levels. So, I should probably explain some of my magic strategy on the Elementalist. So, as I've mentioned before, there are four elemental types of magic. Um, fire, air, water, and earth. And in this game, the most important ones are water and air. So I have this sorcerer specializing in water, and this sorcerer specializing in air. And that's perfectly fine. Um, sorcerers automatically start with fire as well. So they both have fire, one has water, one has air. Perfectly normal so far. Normal sounding, at least. But... It's really easy to master air magic, whereas it's really difficult to master water magic. So my water mage is going to be focusing on water for an extended period of time, whereas my air mage could actually pick up fire for a bit. So I probably should have put Inferno on the fire mage, but oh well. Anyway, I'm going to time this. I'm going to let the trap go off one more time. There we go, because I don't want to get hit by one of those sparks. Oop, I got hit by a trap. First trap in the game that requires more than one point of trap disarm. Alright, I definitely need the gauntlets. Um, protection from cold. Definitely don't need even more potion bottles at this point. These are... Kind of garbage. Anyway, let's get out of the trap area. Alright, um, while I'm at it, I'm going to go equip those gauntlets. Because, yep, I was about to say, I don't think my entire party has gauntlets right now. Right, and loop around to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I thought there was loot here. I mean, it's a tiny amount of money, but whatever. <laughs> and now it's everything. You know what sounds great right about now? Inferno. Hey, look, almost everything's dead. 
Ooh. We've got King Cobras. That's not good. I don't think I have enough for a second casting. Yeah, I didn't think so. Also, I'm bouncing again. Ugh. So King Garbos can actually be Abbey Dangerous because they have hit points and they can disease. Luckily, I have crap tons of stats right now, so I'm not too concerned. That's not what I wanted to hit. That's what I wanted to hit. So I think what's happening is that I'm actually partially following, falling through the floor. So what I'm trying to do is just jump and then you notice that the shimmering stops basically we're gonna go this way Hello. hey it's angela dawson the child so as per everybody else they have one line of text that's based off of the role in this case the child talks about nikolai i wish i was nikolai he's still a kid but i bet no one tells him what to do he can do whatever he wants because he's the king not like me everyone tells me what to do keep that in mind because help i think i'm lost i want to go home so now she's in my party um you can have npc followers in your party at pretty much any time there's enemies in here for reference um they don't count as followers for purposes of hirelings so i in fact have I don't know if I have the stats to be able to do this right now, but let's find out. Money. And I think this is the where, hold on. Boo kitty, you okay? Meow. 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 Why don't you come up here on my lap, kitty cat? I'm sure the internet wants to see you because you're a cat. Hi, Boo Kitty. You want to say hi to everybody? Mm. Okay, well, you can stay in my lap, but apparently not. Okay, um, anyway, what I was going to do was let's go ahead and save. And save three. Also, what in the world was that email sound? Making sure it's not something I need to worry about. Nope, not anything I need to worry about right now. Um, so in here, there are traps. And, yep, there's hidden items in here that depend on your perception check. Remember when I said before that perception allowed you to find hidden stuff? This is the first dungeon in the game that perception allows you to do that. So. Ooh, that's actually a useful item. Where are you at? I picked you up, but I think you might have gone into somebody else's inventory. Yeah, there we go. So this ring allows you to get might plus three. Hooray! I mean, again, three might in the scheme of things for what I have right now is next to nothing. This is an amulet. It is a normal amulet, so not that useful. The sword, normal sword. I can't carry it. These cast fireball when I search them for reference. Oh. Arm scroll. Oh. That time I got hit by the fireball. That's okay. Uh -huh. I have hit points and first aid. So healing scroll. Crappy healing, but healing. Speaking of healing. Uh, how far are you down? You're at zero. So that should work. Okay. Um, I would normally rest, except that I'm diseased, which means they're actually going to take damage instead of healing damage. So not that useful. Oh yeah, you gotta love when you fall, they make a face. And because they're diseased, it swaps the face back and forth. Also, that is regular ordinary chain mail. Not that I have inventory space for it. So going into here, let's make sure I don't get ambushed by throwing up a wizard eye. Meow. More bats. 
So if I actually had bows right now, I would just be killing these things at a range more frequently. But I don't want to use up all of my magic. Oops. And I don't have that many bows. Hanging up the dead bodies because they can randomly have an item. I think it's only the higher level ones that get rings, but that's okay. I'm still in yellow, so there's definitely more spiders. I see you there, spider. Giant spider. I should probably post a warning on this video that there are spiders. Because I know there's some people that really don't like seeing spiders. Even though these spiders are really crappily drawn, in my mind. How many spell points do I actually have? 20. It's good to know. I can always drink a, drink a potion to... Um, whatchamacallit, uh, get enough to be able to cast another Inferno. So, it's good to know. Still in yellow. Yeah, this dungeon, again, these dungeons in this game are actually long. Yeah, I don't know what the point of those rocks are, other than they're pretty. And there's enemies down here. For reference you can even see them and the flying ones can totally fly up there by the way which is why I'm trying to rush into this corner before I get attacked from behind because they're coming anything flying can fly up there anything not flying can't because while well, they're not flying then you can't climb well, you sort of can, but meh, whatever. Anyway, these tunnels are twisty. Get rid of the bouncing thing. I wish I had a good solution for that other than just having to jump each time. Especially since the jump button keeps hitting my damn you muscle memory. Um, because jump is a different key in this than it is normally. Also, I really don't like the camouflage spiders. This room is a teleporter. Where does this teleport me to? I think this teleports me back to the beginning. No, it just teleports me really far up. That's why I saved, because I'm actually closer here to where I want to go. That's mostly if you want to go run away back to some place where you can sleep for the night, which would be great if I wasn't diseased. So I'm actually just going to try to finish this. To oh, maybe I shouldn't. Ah, the music's back. It's like, wait, what's that noise? Um, I am rather hurt. I can at least heal up a little bit. Come on. Be really nice if I had healing spells that didn't suck horribly. Grumble, grumble. Grumble. Grumble, I say. Grumble. And I think that was Torchlight failing. Torchlight's only going to last an hour because I only have one point of fire magic. Because I haven't leveled up. At all. So, we are in the Cobra Nest. Oh, I'm getting surrounded. Surrounding is being is bad for me. I really do not like getting surrounded in this game. Even though I'm really powerful right now. I still don't like being surrounded. That's why I'm using a choke point. And I have somebody unconscious again. Oh no, you diseased me even further. Okay. My kingdom for a spell that doesn't suck to heal. Ugh. So, the later spells actually heal based off of... Oh, uh, stupid spiders. The later spells in the game actually heal off of points in a skill. So I really don't understand the point of 
first aid in this game. They actually drop the spell first aid in later games. And it first aid is in the earlier games, for reference. Um, I was watching a Let's Play of Ma Magic 4 and 5, or World of Zine, basically. And first aid is extremely useful in that game. It heals a flat amount of hit points, but the number... Ooh, I actually picked up a spell scroll. Um, the number of hit points is fairly high. Protection magic. Not the spell I need. Starburst would be great, but that only helps outdoors. Okay. I'll go down here because I've already woken up one nest. As long as I stand here, I should be okay. I mean, most of these Cobras are regular Cobras, so I'm not too worried. There should be a Queen Cobra around here, though. It's a boss, basically. And we now have Cobra Eggs. Which, if you remember, there was a quest to go grab Cobra Eggs. So, let's pick some up. Actually, one of the reasons why... I'm, oh, my inventory is full again. <sighs> inventory being full is the bane of my existence in this game. Um, I'm going to save because I suck at Trap Disarm. In this case, I was fine. But I suck at Trap Disarm, and I have two characters nearly dead. Nice. Wizard Hat. So... The description of and hats basically do nothing unless if they have an enchantment on it. And this one specifically says it has a property that makes it easier to enchant. You would think that would be useful for the enchant item spell. Nope. Wizard hat cap is not powerful enough. So this is a completely worthless item. It's just worth money. Ah. This isn't even worth money. Mm. That's a really nice and expensive ring with a crappy enchantment on it. But... An enchanted item is better than no item. Um, I'm going to give that to the cleric. Meow. Meow. Um, yeah, that was the armor I dropped. There's totally more enemies here. Yep. And, sp oh crap, that's a huge spider. And wizard eye dropped. Poopy. Uh, heal. Heal. Can't see. Yes, boo. Hello there. She just jumped up on the desk. Because she doesn't want to stay still because it's kitty crazy kitty hour okay let's just take this slow you can recast wizard die okay I'm not being surrounded so that's good all right the red one's running away which means I must have damaged it earlier so once enemies are down to a certain amount of hit points, they do tend to run away. But it depends on how smart the enemy is. So the higher level enemies usually run. The lower level enemies usually stay. Ugh, this place. So this is a spider's nest, by the way. So there are spiders directly above me. I don't particularly want to fight. Oh, queen spider. I gained a heart. I don't know if I've even gotten the quest to kill them yet. That's okay. That was actually a quest. So. Run up here. Okay, yeah, I'm in trouble. So, let's heal you. Attack. Heal you. Attack. Attack. Heal you. Oh, I hate to see so much this early in the game because I can't do anything about it, basically. I can make a potion and that would be about it. 
Also, this low-level torchlight garbage is just ugh. Um, do I have anything that's going to help me? You're just a spider that's been running away. And there's an enemy there. You're a spider that's running away. I'm getting stuck in walls. Okay, I'm in condition green, so that's good. And then now we have a little treasure area, which is good. Except for the fact that I'm going to die from the trap that's probably on it. Also, this is supposed to be at the bottom of a well or something, I think. There's nothing up there, to my knowledge. No, no, not new game. Save game. Thank you. Oh, I didn't die. Yay. Elven Cloak. So this is a higher level item compared to what I had before, which is nice. Um, yes, you're going to keep the high level item. I don't need that. Grab the money. Check to see if there's any magic items. Wand of Stunning is not that great either, but it's worth money. So, drop the longsword. Okay. I believe that's actually everything in this dungeon now. I want to say there was something else hidden in here that I'm forgetting about, but I don't know where. I'm just going to walk my way back, because I'll be able to tell from the condition, like if it drops from condition... Oh, I haven't gone to the right. Although I think this is... Nope, there's stuff here. I'm just going to stay in turn base mode. The dungeon's large enough where I'm going to frequently see Condition Green. And I to I know that's a Wild Arms term. I don't care. Wild Arms is an awesome game. So. Ah, <sighs> poopy. Okay. This is the point where I go, you know what? Drink that. Inferno. You should have enough spell. 23. Damn it. Drink that. You're going to heal yourself. Didn't you healing yourself? You're a healer. Cast Inferno. No now that should drop a lot of these enemies' hit points, yeah. They're a lot simpler to kill. You have eight spell points. It worked. I could bring you up again. Oh, you're actually poisoned, not diseased. Well, let's cure that poison at least. Poison is, again, just drop of stats. There's nothing special about it. Success. I don't get Inferno again. I just want these enemies dead. You can Torchlight. You can Inferno. I believe that means just the vampire bats are alive. And not by much. Yep, condition. Back to green. Let's loot things. Hoping for any item at all. Looks like these two spiders might be the only things left in the dungeon. Continuing walking this way. Nope. Not the only things left. There's still more spiders. So every enemy in the game has the same walking pattern. Uh, they may not have the same speeds, but they have the same walking pattern. I think this is the teleporter that teleports you all the way back. So let's go ahead and save again, because if I hit a trap, I'm dead. Ooh, there's actually special things in this one. So we've got a hat of magic plus two spell points. That is going to get equipped. Now you have a jaunty hat. Ha 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 ha. Um, also, I should equip that cloak that I found. You can wear the cloak. Uh, normal mace. Guardian angel spell, which is potentially useful later. Guardian agents, angel spell. So when you die, you have a bunch of broken equipment. Your hit points are all at one. You start back in New Serpical, and you have no money. The guardian angel spell helps this by allowing you to have some of your money. Half of it. That's it. Uh, I don't think that amulet's enchantable, but it's at least valuable. All right. However, this wand is actually useful. 
So I am going to keep this and do that. Right, then teleport. Not the one I was thinking of. I could have swore there was a teleporter that... Ugh. I can't see the map. Why can't I scroll on the map? Oh, I can now. Okay. I thought there was one that teleported me all the way back. But I would have seen it by now. Oh well, I'm just going to run back. I know there's another way out of here that's faster. I don't remember what it is. But that's okay. There's only one trap in here and I can easily avoid it. It's that trap. Just don't step on the sparks and I won't get hit. Pretty simple. And at higher level wizard eye, I would actually see the sparks going down so I can easily avoid it. Do, 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 do. Running back to town. Tra la 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 la. How are you liking my Magic 6 so far? Um, I know I've, at the time of this recorded, recording, I've uploaded two videos, but only one of them's public at the moment. Um, hope people enjoy it, because I really like my Magic 6. Um, this is also probably the last quest I'm going to be doing in New Serpical for a while. Yeah, I'm still... There's actually something in there, I know it. I always forget to look in for money. Because I'm used to using expert level wizard eye. And there's also items here. Money. Regular spear, regular longsword, so no. Money. Potion bottle. And for some reason, when you drink a potion bottle, your characters just immediately shatter it to the ground because, oop. I spy something with a capital letter. I saw that. That is capital T tree. Oh, these were the fruit trees. So they're going to have capital letters because they actually could grow things. That's right. Never mind. So what's the explorer do? Uh, it's land or sea minus one. Yeah, minimum one day. Windmaster is one of the best in the game, which is why it costs 20% of your gold that you find, but it's a fly spell once a day, which is very nice. If I wanted to be completely ridiculous, and I don't think I'm powerful enough to pull that off, but if I wanted to be completely rid ridiculous, I would take that one along with me and go fly over here. So there's actually more stuff over here, but there's not much of a reason to go there other than gaining XP. Um, first off, I'm going to heal before I do that, thank you very much. But without having bows, it's not a great idea for me to do that. So I'm not going to. I'm actually looking for a specific type of NPC called a Gate Master. Spell Masters are very nice, but uh, I can't talk to you. It's armor. Are you open? What time is it? Oh, it's night. Dang it. I don't want it to be night. Hello. Pathfinder. Your land travel, right? Uh, all map crossings are three days faster. Okay. So the Pathfinder is the one I might actually want to hire. Um, so... I'm going to need to travel between maps, and the way travel between maps works is that it takes a certain number of days to travel. Uh, the number of days are based off of whether you're going by foot, by hoof, or by water. Um, by water I mean a boat. You can leave from New Serpical via boat, you can only go to Mist. I don't want to go to Mist. The place I specifically want to go to is called Castle Ironfist. And I can't show you the map of it in-game because I don't have Town Portal. It's the only way you can see the full continent map in the game. So I'm going to have to walk unless if I happen to luck upon finding 
whatchamacallit, a gate master. At that point, technically it is possible to get to Castle Iron Fist without having to do map travel. But it's really dumb how you have to get there. And probably lethal for me. So I will keep the Pathfinder there in mind. Unfortunately, if I reload things... Alright, this is the person that wanted the Spider Queen heart, which... Surprise! I have the heart right here. What a gruesome trophy. This heart proves you've defeated the wicked Spider Queen. Hopefully now new sir now the spiders won't plague New Serpical anymore. Here's a reward I promised. Are you the one looking for... Yep. Violet Dawson. Oh dear, can you help me? My daughter Angela is missing. Sorry for the clap. I think she wandered into the abandoned temple near town. And if she did, she could be in terrible danger. Who knows what kind of horrible things are lurking in that cursed place. Please find her and bring her back to me. Did you not notice the little girl that's with me? There you go. And she gives me ten food as a reward. So, I was talking about this with my creator, and I think I am going to actually pick up the guild memberships, even though it's kind of a waste of money. It's not that much money, and it's the only way I'm going to be able to buy magic in this God's Forsaken Town. Miller. Gambler. Tracker. Tracker, I think, might be Overland Crossings. Apprentices are really nice, as are Mystics, actually. Psychic. Hunter. Hunter, I believe, reduces food costs, I want to say. Let's see, Mystic was three point bonus to all spell skills. Apprentice was two point bonus to all spell skills. And Spellmaster is four point bonus to all spell skills. So, at the end of game, having a Mystic and a Spellmaster is a great combination. Yeah, it's not open right now. I'm kind of tempted to try to see just how far I can get. That cast Guardian Angel, okay. Uh, one day, ten hours. So, here's the situation. Any type of sleep or map crossing will cause me to basically lose... Um, Cutter, gambler, uh, will cause me to lose any active spells on me. So I'm trying to avoid actually, you're a tinker. Tinkers don't do anything in this case, right? Oh no, you do um, trap disarm. Which oddly enough is not a terrible thing for me to have at the beginning of the game. You do expert ID item and you do expert perception, yeah. Ugh. Jump is glitched in this game because of, um, yeah, everything's closed. So maybe I will actually end up going out and killing some more things. At the very least, I'll go walking. Um, go ahead and cast me Wizard Eye again. Yeah, I can handle the dock area. So anyway, um, if I can pull off, oh, that's right, there's actually something up here I want. This is a two-handed weapon. I'm just going to carry it in my hands because I don't have a great way of carrying it anywhere else right now. And eventually, if I piss them off enough, yep, the mages will come over the bend. However, if I go in turn-based mode, they will just start falling down. It I'm, Again, I mentioned that you can only sort of climb in this game. Basically, the mages are sort of climbing. So, this two-handed sword is a fairly high damage weapon in the game early on. Um, I pulled a sword from the zone, and you will probably understand the reference. Uh, that is not THE sword in the stone, though. That does exist in this game, though. Red liquid. Yellow liquid is accuracy. That also goes on the knight. Blue liquid is personality. Yes, I know I'm being attacked. And empty barrel is an empty barrel. Apprentice mages are really weak, so I'm not too concerned. 
they're only dangerous in large numbers. And this isn't large. What I'm con if I walked into all of that at once, then I would probably be in trouble. Or regular mage. Regular mages are in fact annoying and deadly. They still don't have very many hit points. But they've got enough. Bless the night. I mean, they're still not that deadly, but there's a significant difference between mage and apprentice mage. Um, so, this is something I haven't mentioned yet, even though you might be able to figure it out from context. Um, in this game, everything has three levels to them, and there are palette swaps between them. Um, there's also a size difference, depending on what type of enemy it is, but basically it goes... There's one weak version, which... Apprentice mages are the weak one. There's journeyman mage, which is that one. And then there's mage mage, which is the highest level one. Meow. Meow. There you are. Yep, and you are a mage mage. Okay. Anyway. Um, every enemy in the game follows those three tiers, other than bosses. Um, there may be multiple versions of the same type of enemy. For instance, there's multiple types of dragons. But each of the dragons that do exist, exist in three forms each. Um, there's a couple of exceptions to that, and those are bugs. And I'll point them out if I see them. Anyway, we can journey this way now. I'm basically killing time until dawn. Now, you notice a very large number of mages over here. I'm just going to wake them up and then run away. Yeah, look at the sheer number of red things over there. That's what I mean by walking into too many of them at once. I don't want to fight that many. These mages aren't casting special spells. They're casting flame arrow and they're casting the same spells that I have, which are garbage, let's be honest here. Um, 10.30 at night. Ooh, a secret tryst between Stuart the Barrister and Lorraine the Pathfinder. Georgina and the Navigator is behind there. Anyway, again, I'm kind of just killing time at the moment because there's not much I can do during night and I don't want to rest and I don't really feel like waiting until dawn. These are goblins. Goblins are easy enough for me to fight. There's only a couple of them that even have ranged attacks. Just collecting items. So in this game, the enemies will not, in fact, fight the townspeople. So you can lure goblins into town and they won't fight. talk about in this so I'm thinking I'm going to do the next video explaining some more things about the game because there's definitely a lot of things I have not explained at all about this game and I feel like I should sit down and explain them without playing at the same time or should I just explain them as I'm playing even though that might be a little more confusing so what I mean by a little more confusing is basically um, I can't show you things that aren't literally on the screen i can't easily like switch between images and show hey look this is the image that i'm talking about which is not a great way of handling things in my mind i found one food good job yeah that was trapped not too surprising. Nice. Large nice. shield. I don't have the shield skill, right? No. Nope. Okay. Rock, rock, rock. Rock, 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 rock. Rock, rock, 
rock, crate. You notice the crate's also capitalized. This is what I mean by they capitalize things that you can click on. It's actually a fairly large amount of money. Rock, 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 tree, rock, rock. I could have swore there was something capitalized in this area, and I don't remember what. <laughs> Hello, goblin. You can run. Yeah. Across the island, there's mages and goblins. Because this map has mages, goblins, and peasants. Peasants being the regular townspeople. There's also a friendly peasant over here. Which is usually a problem for me because I frequently accidentally kill them. Igor, the teacher, has ancient weapon expertise. There's a lot of interesting things about that, and I will not be clicking on that. Because I don't want to spoil things for the people who have never played Might Magic 6. Um, you're all regular lowercase trees. Again, I'm kind of just killing time in-game by exploring. Getting more of the map while I'm at it, because now you have an outline of the mainland of New Serpical. Um, that area is going to be annoying for me to get to, but I kind of want to. So that's actually where I'm going next. Oh. Wizard eye dropped. That explains why I couldn't find these bodies. There we go. Lowercase rocks. Lowercase trees. So the lowercase uppercase thing actually exists in Might Magic 6, 7, and 8. Uh, they play with it more in 7 than they do 6. So what I'm doing is that I'm basically going to walk around here and try to bite off fewer of them. Because I'm going to die if I have that much line of attack on me. And you can already see my hit points are dropping precipitously just standing there. And because my healing abilities are somewhere south of crap... That could be very lethal for me, even with my souped-up stats and so on. There's another type of enemy that's very similar to an apprentice mage, the followers of Ba. They're similarly lethal in very large numbers. They're actually lethal even to higher level parties, oddly enough just from the sheer number of things being thrown into your face. Um, mages can actually be found, I would say, at roughly the one-third point of the game, even. This is still early game. I mean, I've been to one of 15 zones in the game. Outdoor zones, that is. There's more than 15 indoor. But this is a much more manageable number now. Let's go finish these guys off. And done. Condition green. And notice, once more, there's a townsperson. I swear they're there just so you accidentally shoot arrows at them. Lowercase okay, rocks. Cookbot has two food in it. This has money. All lowercase rocks, yeah. Oops. And these should be all lowercase trees. More money and a hat of luck. You now have a jaunty hat. Congratulations. So the random items that you see on the ground are interesting in a lot of ways. So, what are you in? You're also a guard. That's not supposed to be the case. They're still randomized. Um, and this oh, yeah. is Faligar. Faligar, the person who is at the opening sequence and everything. By the way, there's nothing more I can teach you. I have taught you all I know about being level one. Also, this is the only gate master in the game that you cannot hire. Faligar is special. And Faligar is basically telling you, you need the approval of the six high council members. And then you do whatever is necessary to speak with the Oracle of Freehaven. Then in 
Rid and Wrath of the Devils. So basically, your first objective is the council quest that's referred to. The first, I would almost say half of the game, is basically the council quests. There are six of them. There are six lords of Inroth. They correspond with NPCs in um, Heroes of Might Magic 2. And, well, you do quests for them. And we will be doing all of them. In fact, we will be doing every quest in the game, basically. How are you today? Yep, I expert staff defense, which I don't care about. Who are you? You're a locksmith. I don't care about you either. Some goblins over here that I'm going to go kill. By the way, if you haven't figured it out, I'm actually wiping out the entire, um, whatchamacallit, area. I want to no longer have enemies here, because what I'm trying to do is actually grind for experience. You just don't realize it. Um, pick up some more items. I left some dead bodies behind me. How dare I? Are you? Yeah. Okay. I did not kill you in the water. Uh, by the way, if something actually lands in water beyond where I can walk, like here, it disappears forever. Um, which is the reason why there are certain types of enemies in the game that do not leave behind bodies, because you only fight them in water. Flying enemies are notorious also, because they tend to fall in water, and then it's like, oh, I can't use your body for parts. You're all lowercase trees, right? Yeah. How's my map looking? I have not been straight. That's about it. <laughs> time, two in the morning. Well, I've used as much time as I can probably pull off at this point. Um, anything else that I do basically requires me to go hire somebody that can either cast water walk or fly and then clear out the islands that are, you can see one of, the, um, one of them here, one of them there, and one of them there. Um, I probably should have done that before while I still had the fly scroll up, but I was just trying to get my air magic up enough to be useful. Hello. Yeah, Spellmaster's plus four. Yeah, plus four. We don't need those right now. Arms Master's Hello. for weapons. Two point bonus to all weapon skills, yeah. And there's no higher level version of that. Weapons Master's kinda crap. Hello again, Richard. You have an interesting face. I think I am actually going to hire you for now. So next time, because I'm going to be stopping recording about now. Um, actually, I'm going to go finish up by buying a couple of spells. And then next time, what we're going to end up doing is walking over, walking or horseback ride over to Castle Ironfest. Oh, I have some other things to sell, don't I? Like eggs. So... This is something I don't remember. I remember one of the games has a glitch like this. Okay, it's not this one. So basically, I sold each of the Cobra eggs for 300. And what quests do I have left at this point? So there is a quest log in this game. Uh, let's see. Bring the letter to Wil Wilbur Humphrey in Castle Ironfist. That's basically where you start the council quests at. Chime of Harmony from the Temple of Ba, which I... The Temple of Ba that they're referring to is in Castle Iron Fist, so I can't get there. Rescuing Sherry, also in Castle Iron Fist. Um, the Candelabra is the only other thing I can do at this point. So I guess I am actually going to complete the evil quest. It's closed. At dawn. Dawn's not very far from now. Yep, everybody's tired because I don't sleep. Quest. Complete a quest. And my reputation's back down to average. So that was an evil quest. You are helping evil people. You're still helping though, so I don't quite understand, but whatever. I believe that, yep. I believe, yeah, 200 is the maximum that you can donate up to for a normal temple. If you donate a temple of Ba, it'll drop your reputation down to bad. Or raise it if you're already bad, which is a really interesting side effect. So let's go ahead and get some 
spells. So, um, I can buy spells from the Initiate Guilds of Self or Element. Um, technically, I can do the other Guild of Self and Elements as well, which have higher level spells. But these spells are from any type, which means that they only have low level spells and they're usually not very good, but a couple of them are useful. Precision gives you a bonus to accuracy. It's not a good spell to pick up. Eventually I will buy all of them, but I'm not going to buy the ones that are actually useless. I already have Remove Fear. Protection from Poison is not a great spell. Lucky Days is not a very good spell. Mind Blast is an attack spell. I might as well pick that up. I really don't have anything in the way of merchant skill, unfortunately. So I'm going to be wait. Oh, yeah, I have some. And first aid. That was a terrible roll for Guild of Self. I probably should have saved before walking in because it randomizes the um, contents of it when you walk in. Um, how long ago was my autosave? Long enough ago where I don't want to. So I'm not going to. That's the temple. Derp. Guild of Elements is over here. So again, I could have saved and then reloaded it constantly. Also, this is where I can buy new sources of magic. Um, this is the cheapest area in the game to buy those sources of magic, so I will in fact buy both of them. Because eventually I will have every character with every spell that they can get, but I'm going to be conserving money for a bit. Oh, before I do... Oh. I should look to see what you have. Pro electricity, pro. Uh, you. Well, Deadly Swarm's probably one of the better Earth spells, but it's still bad. Poison spray and sparks. Okay, you actually do have good spells for me. So, anyway. Mind Blast. Yes. You learned Mind Blast. Then you're going to buy both sparks and poison spray. Sparks is the most efficient spell in the game. Um, you're the air elementalist, you're the water elementalist. So let me to show you what Sparks does. So okay. I'm going to go walk over to a place where there's no peasants and show you, this is Sparks. It creates at this level three Sparks in front of you that kind of just go off straight. This doesn't look to be a very good spell. And in fact, if you look at... What it describes it as is that it does two points of damage plus one point per skill in air magic. So this does two to six points of damage, costing two spell points. This does, at this point, six points of damage for four spell points. This is not a very effective spell, except for the fact that Sparks is extremely useful when you're in melee range, because then all three of the Sparks will hit the same target which means that this does 24 points of damage for four spell points. It is the most efficient spell in the game as long as your enemy isn't resistant to electricity. Poison Spray, meanwhile, is a very similar spell, only with fewer shots. Uh, still costs four spell points. Um, however, there's a couple of downsides with Poison Spray. The first major downside is the fact that this game lies to you. It says few monsters have resistance to poison, so it usually works. There are more monsters in the game with resistance to poison than there are resistance to water. Water is actually one of the lowest in the game. Uh, water and air, are the, uh, water and electricity are the two lowest. And I think water might actually be the lowest. So it's a bit of a misnomer, but at the same time, I'm not going to have both casters focus on air. There are definitely things that are immune to electricity, just like there are things that are immune to poison. So, uh, I'm going to go walk over here. Oh, that's right, I need to sell things. What do you have? You've got garbage as usual. So, these for reference are worth very little, and um, supply shops like this tend to jack up prices quite a bit. Also, they complain when you walk in and out. All right, do I have anything I need to repair? No. Let's start selling things. 
Yeah, this is what happens when you have a high enough mercantile skill, is that it will be, normally I do my best to buy insert item here for ludicrous amount of money, but I can see that you know it's worth X, agreed? Um, that's what happens when you have mercantile skill high enough, where in this case for selling, it boosts the price up enough to get maximum value. Clubs are only worth one, so that's what it says pretty much all the time. Otherwise, it'll say something like this. It's worth 40, I'm getting 15 for it. So yeah, I'm totally getting screwed out of these. But that's okay, I don't need them. They're taking up inventory space. I will keep the crossbow though, for now. And normally what I would end up doing is moving all of the items that I want to sell over to the character with the highest mercantile. But right now I haven't invested any mercantile in anybody. So everybody has the same level of mercantile. So I'm just selling this way. Uh, blacksmiths in this game are only wanting weapons which is why I'm selling weapons to them. That's actually a good dagger. I should probably have that equipped. 2d3 plus four, 2d2 plus five. That's actually better. And 2d2 plus two, yeah. I don't know why the mage dagger wasn't equipped. Oops. And then I will sell that. Repair, you had something that need to repair. I really wish I could help. Yeah, that would have to be a different type of merchant. Um, I'm not gonna worry about it. And what do you have for sale? Knives, don't care about any of those. What do you have to normally buy? Don't care about any of those. Don't touch the merchant. All right, sell. Um, so regular hats can be bought or sold by either magic item experts or armor experts. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, some places you'd be better off one versus the other. I, it doesn't matter. I'm going to keep the shield for the time being because I could probably pick up shield skill here. And I'm definitely keeping the chain mail. Hi, boo. I know this is running late. I'm sorry. And I'm keeping the plate mill just because I can get plate someplace else, just not here. All right, and what do you have for sale? Uh, studded leather of cold resistance. It's not worth picking that up. And I have gauntlets on everybody. I don't have helms on everybody. Still not worth picking up. I'll find them soon enough. Um, going to hit here first. Okay. Yeah, I can't. Oh. I can learn leather armor, but I don't want leather armor. I want chain. So I'm going to have to wait until I'm in New Serpical for a lot of these things. Can I help you find anything? So let's go ahead and start selling other stuff, like these amulets that aren't actually useful and these rings that aren't actually useful. Things that are unenchanted, basically. Also these wands of useless things. This is not useless, so I'm keeping that. Uh, nothing here, I can sell some potion bottles, I guess. Let's sell that, sell the ring. So here's something interesting. If you have a broken item, you cannot sell it for more than one gold. So I'm actually going to repair then sell, which is dumb. But it gets me more money than the one gold. Um, I'm also going to sell that and that and that. That and that. Starburst is staying with me. Protection of magic can go away. Awaken. Ah, uh, waking could actually be useful. Do you have anything for sale that I care about? Another fairy wand of poison. Look how much it costs if I wanted to buy one of those wands. It's ridiculous. Helm of Might, eh. Cloth hat. Witch ring of electric resistance, a plus one. Garbage. Night gauntlets, stone skin, cure poison. Helm of charm. 
plus four personality. Uh, still not worth it. And a blank ring. Regular stuff is just potion making materials. That's not too surprising. So let's go ahead and fill my alchemist back up. By the way, um, poppy snaps are the most common herb. So you're going to see lots of those. All right, that means I am full. I forgot to sell the bots anyway. And I'm just going to sell the rest of these potion bottles that I have. I mean, they're only worth one, but you know, I already have them. Do, 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 do. Couple much code, which I don't need anymore. The letter, which I do need. And... Yep. That's good. All right. And that's it. Uh, we should be able to catch a horse. So we can either pay for two days to Castle Iron Fist for 22 gold. Or we can walk to Castle Iron Fist for two days, I want to say. Let's find out really fast. That's weird. This is all map... Oh, this is for walking map crossings, I bet. Oh, I never actually opened these crates. I'll just loot. I'm not going to bother going back and selling. Nice. No, that's ah. not nice. Those are kind of garbage still. Anyway, so if you walk this way, you will reach the map crossing to Castle Iron Fist. Also two days, yeah. So it's not worth it for me to um, do anything else. I'm going to save here and call it a night. I hope you've enjoyed this so far, Internet. I will talk to you. Let's see. So this video will be going live on Sunday. I might record another one Sunday night, so I'll see you in a few days from my perspective. Good night and have a nice day.